Hello, welcome back to Chris's Beer Reviews. How are you? Hope you're all doing really well. Uh, it's not a beer review, it's just a bit of beer shopping, so I thought I'd show you what I've picked up when I've been out and about doing a bit of shopping today. Uh, there's two off licenses near me. One of them is called Bargain Booze, and the other one's called The Local Offie. So I popped into both of those because they were in a very short distance of each other because I looked in my beer fridge and it was starting to get a bit empty. <laughs> and it's very unusual for me to let my beer fridge be empty. I'm normally always ordering beers or buying beers and keeping it stocked up but I've run it down I needed to to be fair to get a bit of rotation going on so yeah it's run down it was time to go out and buy a few beers so I'm just going to show you what I've picked up today and like I say some came from bargain booze um, believe it or not they do actually the one near me do actually stock a reasonable range of craft beers and yeah like I say the local offy also stock a, a decent range of craft beers and Belgian beers etc so one picked up is the Chimay the Brun the Chimay Brun uh, I think I've had it but I think it was a long long time ago I certainly haven't reviewed it so I probably will review that so I'll pop that on there and in the the PD if you've been following my channel you know my PD at the moment I've got uh, Lefe Ritual 9 I've never had it in, in bottle and whilst I've got it on keg, I have picked it up in bottle as well, just to see the difference, see how much of a difference there is between the bottle and the perfect draft. So yeah, picked up a Ritual 9. And I also picked up this Lefe that I've not seen before, a Radius, 8.2, uh, 8.2% Radius. Uh, I know absolutely nothing about this beer, absolutely nothing. Um, so I picked it up, not seen that one before, so I picked that one up. And uh, uh, sticking on the Belgians, I uh, picked up this one. I like uh, delirium beers, I really do. And I've never seen this one before either. So I picked this one up. This is Delirium Argentum Hot Amber IPA, uh, coming in at 7%. So yeah, definitely going to review that one because I've got the delirium glass sitting up there waiting to have a delirium in it. So yeah, there's that one. I think that's it on the Belgium side. So we've got a big beast from Arbor. I love Arbor's cans. They're just enormous, aren't they? Oh, absolutely fantastic. A raspberry pale ale. Uh, sounds good to me. Like raspberry, like pale ale. Let's see how that works. So looking forward to that one. Uh, we've got two from Daya. We've got Daya Pure Unashamed Luxury. Luxury, a triple IPA coming in at 10% ABV. Bit of a beast, big old 10%. Tip up, all good. And the other one we've got is a six and a half point, six point five percent invoice me for the microphone from Daya as well. So yeah, a couple of Daya's. I can't remember if I've got even done a Daya video on my channel. Nothing's telling me I haven't reviewed any Daya's, and I've I've had plenty of Daya's, but have I reviewed any? I think I've reviewed one. I think that's all I've done is one. I also picked up uh, the Wild Beer Co. I've not always been a big fan of Wild Beer Co.'s beers, uh, but this one's a West Coast IPA called Madness. They're coming in at, what does this come in at? 6.5% ABV. So yeah, West Coast, one of my most favorite styles is West Coast IPA, so I'd definitely pick that up. It's got a lovely feel to it, that can. And uh, a big old bottle of Estrella Dan. Uh, the reason I picked this up is someone asked me to review it uh, if I saw it they asked me if I'd buy it and review it so yeah not a problem I'll do what I can to keep people happy <laughs> and then we've got full circle brew a company uh, coming this is called looper an IPA coming in at 6.4 percent like the can love the kind of just the simpleness of that can looks quite nice doesn't it so I thought that looks good give that a go I do a lot of buying with my eyes and the last one is also from Full Circle Brewing. Uh, this one's called All Hail the Mighty Squeaker. Uh, this is an Imperial Black Forest Gatto Stout. Right up my street. Uh, I love a Black Forest cake. I love a Black Forest Gatto. They were massive in the 80s, Black Forest Gattos. Uh, so yeah, I'm yet to find a Black Forest Gatto Stout that really does give me all those elements of a Black Forest Gatto. Uh, but it's got an amazing can. Uh, 
all hail the squeaker, all hail the mighty squeaker. So there's a mighty mouse on there, isn't there? Uh, so yeah, definitely looking forward to doing that one. And like I say, these all came from, if you like, run of the mill off license, bargain booze, you know, <laughs> they are what they sound like they are, but they've got a decent craft range. In. And then the one just down the road from them called the local offy, again, they do the, the usual macro stuff and everything else and blah, 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 but they, they do some good craft, craft stuff and good Belgian beers as well. So don't knock the bargain booze off licenses. If you see one, pop in. You might be surprised at what they've got. So yeah, all of those came with two off licenses. Not a bottle shop, off license. I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Cheers. Bye now.